my god. No! Wait, is he off? No, he's not! Warren from Bubble Bassin with another informative video. If you are interested in seeing more useful tips, tricks, and tutorials for bass fishing, I suggest you follow our channel, Bubble with Bassin. It means a lot to us, and we're just trying to help you guys catch fish. All right. So today's topic is bass seasonal behavior. Bass fishing can be tricky at times. Um, you know, their patterns are different in uh, every season of the year. So the point of this video is to just try to give you a general understanding of um, why bass behave the way they do and how to fish for them in each season of the year, okay? So we're gonna break down the four seasons for bass fishing, uh, fall, winter, spring, summer. Uh, we're gonna be breaking down the types of lures you should be using in each season and where the bass are located. The season we're gonna be breaking down is winter. And winter is probably the most difficult time of year to bass fish because bass are cold-blooded creatures. So um, when that water temperature cools down, they become stagnant and they don't eat as much, they don't move as much, okay? Bass in the winter are also concentrated in the smallest area. So um, basically the area where you're gonna find them the most in the winter is areas where there's steep drop-offs, um, quick depth changes so that they can change depths of water without exerting much energy because the whole idea of bass fishing in the winter is you have to slow down your presentation. Since the bass are not going to be moving as much, you have to understand that when you're throwing that lure out, you need to slow down your presentation. Okay, Because a lot of times bass will just watch your bait go past them because it's moving too fast. You need to slow down your presentation and use smaller baits and realize that you got to be more patient because they're just not going to eat as much. They still eat, but um, they just become slower, more lethargic, and more hesitant to take your bait. So anticipate catching less bass this time of year. However, this is a good time of year to be catching a trophy fish. Okay, so um, the top lures I like to use for winter is any type of blade bait, um, shaky head, any type of slow moving jig that you can just work on the bottom of the water. Okay, so let me show you what I got here. This is probably the way, um, the bait I use the most. So this is a shaky head. So basically this sits on the bottom using the, um, the head and you just basically jerk it on the bottom. This part sticks up in the water and I like to use a zoom trick worm for that. So this is a very uh, versatile bait because you can flip it, pitch it, but you can also move it slowly on the bottom. Bass love this in the winter because it's a small profile bait, so it's a finesse, but they also um, they also can't resist it. So this is just a solid bait to throw in the winter. Also, another winter bait is a deep diving crankbait. If you know the bass are gonna be in deeper water, this is definitely a go because you can twitch, pause it, and it's the pauses where you're gonna get strikes. So again, you need to work this bait very slow. You have to slow down your presentation for winter time, all right? So again, the um, just to summarize what we went over, the key points to look for uh, in the winter for bass are drop-offs and ledges that move quickly from uh, shallow water to deeper water, and the best baits to use are spoons, slow-moving jigs, deep diving crankbaits, and a shaky head. So the second season we're going to be breaking down is spring. So the key thing to know with spring is that this is the time of the year that the bass spawn. Okay, the water temperatures are warming up and bass move in from the main lake waters to shallower waters to spawn. Okay, so um, spring can basically be broken down into three sections. All right, the pre-spawn, spawn, and post-spawn. All right, so the key with spring is that you're going to find bass in any type of structure. Okay, so when bass are going to spawn, they hold to any type of um, lay down, weeds, uh, any type of cover that can protect them from the current as well as predator fish. Okay, so um, this is also the type of year, the time of year that you're going to be getting a lot of reaction strikes. So you need to use baits that um, provoke bass to strike. Okay, they're going to be um, going with their instincts to attack baits that go near their spawning beds. Okay. So um, some key baits that you can use for springtime, the chatter bait. I love ripping this. This is perfect for ripping through weeds um, and any type of cover. So this bait just makes a lot of chatter, hence the name, and bass go crazy for it. They love it. 
Um, also in the springtime, I bring out my creature baits. So I use a wacky rig a lot of times. And also, crawfish. The Guggen Bait Bandito Bug. This is a killer in springtime. So basically spring, you're gonna be wanting to be uh, flipping and pitching around any type of structure where you think bass are going to spawn. So uh, again, look for any type of cove, um, secondary point, main link point. Um, look for weeded areas, okay? So um, the key to remember is that bass are gonna to wanna to strike almost anything that go near their spawning beds. So uh, use the baits that I suggested. Again, creature baits, like a craw or a worm. Um, chatter baits are also killer. All right, so the third season we're gonna break down and arguably the most popular is summer. So in summer, you're basically gonna have two types of bass. You're gonna have the bass that stay shallower in the cover, deep cover, heavy cover, and you're gonna have the bass that go back out to deeper water. And uh, I'm gonna explain why. So summer is the time of year that the water temperatures are gonna be the warmest. And when the water temps get really warm, uh, like in the lower 80s, bass tend to become more slow. They don't move as much because they don't wanna exert that much energy. Um, so think about it. Where would you go on the dog days of summer if you're a bass? You're gonna go anywhere where there's shade or cover to keep you cool from that sun. So bass that stay shallow are gonna be in the weeds. They're gonna be up in the areas that look tough to fish. So you have to you have to frog lily pads, you need to frog moss, you need to go to lay downs, all that cover. Basically the same cover that you'd fish in the springtime. And also, if it's really, really hot, the bass go deep, you're gonna need to fish crankbaits, jerkbaits, any type of spinner bait is good. Summer is a time of year where you can use a lot of different baits. So um, the morning and evening is might be the mo most active times of day. Uh, that's a killer time for top waters in the summer. I use these two baits a lot, the Rebel Poppinar and the um, Whopper Plopper. So those are two killer baits for morning and evening, but you can also use them in the middle of the day. And um, again, you can use many baits in the summer. You can use, you can catch bass on uh, swim baits, spinner baits, uh, crank baits, buzz baits. Um, yeah, bit, pretty much anything. So you're gonna find bass in those two locations. So, All right, so the last and final season that we're breaking down is fall. Fall is a very underrated time of year to fish, in my opinion, because people just tend to, to put the lures away, they put the rods away, and they, uh, they think that the bass stop biting, but that is not the case. So in fall, um, basically the, the key player in the whole fishing game um, is shad and bait fish. So this is a time of year where the shad go into um, tributaries, shallower water before they essentially die off. And the bass follow these bait fish into these shallow waters and tributaries. Um, and as that water gets cooler, they move shallower, okay? So basically, you're gonna catch them in different depths suspended at this time of year, and you're gonna basically wanna fish wherever you see bait fish. So just look in the water where you're fishing. If you see bait fish there, it's a good spot for bass because they're gonna be there, they're gonna be following the bait fish. All right, so um, this is a great time of year to imitate any type of um, dying bait fish. So any type of swim bait, spinner bait, um, let me show you some of the things I use. So this is a Kytec swim bait. This is killer in the fall. Um, twitch it, let it fall. Uh, mimics a dying bait fish very well. Also any type of uh, spinner bait, okay? And lastly, <clears throat> another swim bait. All right, so that, that's a black crappy imitation. So um, match, the, match the hatch, okay? Whatever bait fish you see in the water, fish something that resembles that, okay? All right, so some key areas where you're gonna be finding bass in the fall are any type of shallow flats, humps, um, or main and secondary lake points, all right? So that's where these bass kind of hang out because that's where the bait fish tend to go this time of year. All right, guys, so that breaks down the four seasons of bass fishing. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, if you like our content, please like and subscribe to Bubba Bass. And again, it means a lot to us, and thank you for watching. Till next time.